and adjacent side. Cosine will be the adjacent side over hypotenuse. So if you want adjacent side, it's hypotenuse times cosine. Okay? Now, can you start with t? Just do t like this. So t is here. Opposite side over adjacent. Because when you break down the components, it's always the hypotenuse which is opposite or adjacent side. So we don't usually use tangent too much. Okay? Alright, so we know that this is cosine. So the y component of gravity in this coordinate system will be ng cosine going. In negative y, so it becomes ng cosine for the y equation. Okay? Now, what will be the x component of gravity if this is theta? x component. Let me move that vector down here. This vector and this vector is the same one. Now, this is the opposite side. So if this is theta, this is mg, what is the x component of gravity? What is hypotenuse and opposite side? It's sine, right? Hypotenuse, adjacent sine. So we see one is sine and the other is cosine. Because we are breaking this hypotenuse into adjacent and opposite side. So let's give to sine and cosine. Okay? What you need to know is how to relate this angle and that angle. So the x component of gravity will be positive because it's along x direction and g cos and g sine. Let's draw the tendency check. What will the slope look like if angle of theta is zero? What will that slope become if I set angle of theta to be zero? So if theta is zero, should that slope look like this or like this? Horizontal one, right? When this angle is set, when this angle is zero, that slope becomes a flat table, and we learn that. So we always set the x-axis along the slope, so it's horizontal and vertical. Now. In this case, what is the y component of gravity? What is the y component of gravity? Gravity right now is going down. It's always going down. Y is along its direction. It's pointing to the negative y. So what is the y component of gravity? is the x compo component of gravity. x is zero. It's not pointing in the x direction. There's nothing about gravity going in the x direction, so it's zero. But is there, is there something going on in the y direction? Gravity is going down, which is negative y. So what is the y component of gravity?
Would it just be negative or? Negative one. What? What? One. What? One. Oh, no. So let's try negative one. We'll try bottle. Let's run a tendency check at the dimensional analysis. The right hand side are just numbers and unit vectors. It has no dimension. Oh. But this is mg. So what about so you know you need to have something with dimension here. The negative sign is correct because it is in the negative y direction. But it has a magnitude affected by mg. So what should we write here? Negative mg? Or? Good, very good. The y component will be negative mg. Does that make sense? Good. Let's go back and look at the y component of gravity here. What will cosine be if that's little, that's angle is zero? What is cosine zero? When this angle becomes zero, hypotenuse and adjacent side is equal to zone. So what will cosine be when angle is zero? One. Good. And we see that the y component of gravity here becomes mg times 1. But this is minus mg cosine. So indeed, our trigonometry has the tendency check. We know that gravity should have y component of minus mg, all the gravity should go in y component if this angle here is zero. And indeed, if we that angle theta to be zero here, the y component of gravity is just minus mg. All the gravity is pointing in y direction when there's when the slope is flat. Okay? We can do the same thing for x component. We don't know the x component when the slope is flat should be zero. And what is sine zero? Yeah. Good. So indeed, the x component vanish when angle becomes zero. So it has the tendency check. Okay. case, if there's no friction on the slope, you just have normal force and gravity. Because it should not accelerate in the y direction, it should not fly away from the slope, it should stay on the slope. We know the y acceleration is zero, is zero. So normal force should cancel the component of gravity perpendicular to the slope. Gravity can be break down into the component perpendicular to the slope and the one along the slope. This perpendicular component will be canceled by normal force so that there's no force along y direction and the blocks will not accelerate and fly away from the slope. Yes, sorry, what's your name? Oh, Jackie. Jackie, yeah. So is there no, so there's no, um, there's no magnitude of normal force in the y direction? All the normal force is in the y direction. Oh, okay. The, y, the, normal, force, the normal force here has compon y component of n and x component of u. Good question. Any other? Let me make sure you do know there's friction, you need to add friction. This is a simple case where there's no friction. And you see, when you have a slope, the normal force is no longer canceling all the gravity. It's only going to cancel the perpendicular component of gravity, which is mg cosine. So again, 
for normal force, you need to get the acceleration to solve for normal force. In this case, the acceleration is zero, but the force in tensor is not just is not gravity, but just the component of gravity. So in this case, normal force will be smaller than the weight of the blood. And let's look at the acceleration of this block. It has acceleration along this slope. We can look at here. It does have acceleration in the i direction, in the x direction. Okay. So mg psi is ma. So you get that the acceleration along the slope is not g, but just the Sign the hedging component of gravity. When you have a slope, the normal force on the surface will cancel the perpendicular component of gravity. What's left is the tangent component of gravity, and that tangent component of gravity will pull you down. Let's run the tendency check again. When that angle is zero, this theta is zero, then you get a flat. So, should this block move to the right or to the left on my flat table? No. So, does this acceleration become zero when the angle is zero? You see, when angle theta is zero, sine zero is zero. So, your result makes sense because the plus should not accelerate when the slope is flat, and indeed, when the slope is flat, sine theta becomes zero, and acceleration becomes zero. Let's run another tendency check. When that angle becomes 90 degrees, you get a vertical 